Greetings friendly viewers, today we invite you to join us in a vegan cooking class with instructor Amy Mehta on vegetarianism, the noble way of living. A lifelong vegetarian, Amy specializes in teaching vegetarian dishes of multinational cuisines. She believes that cooking is an art and puts careful consideration into the small details of presentation, the colors of the food, the occasion, and the people who will eventually enjoy the dish. Amy calls herself a new wave vegetarian chef, one who brings a warm and a homely feel to her cooking. Additionally, her recipes are unique in that they do not use any onion or garlic. Let's see what Amy has planned for us today. Welcome to Ami's Veggie Heart today and we are going to do three items today and all vegetarian and it's also vegan today that is no milk and cheese and the first item we'll be making is a shell macaroni with bell peppers and it's always been a great hit at all the parties and everywhere and anywhere. The ingredients which you would need is uh, one and a half cups of cooked shell macaroni which is already ready over here I have boiled it and kept it already and I have left it a little al dente so that when we cook it later it is uh, cooked to perfection. I took a pot of boiling water I let it uh, get hot a little bit and then I put in the shell pasta after I put in the shell pasta or the macaroni whatever you want to call it uh, I put that and then let it boil once it starts boiling I've switched off the gas and let it cool for about five minutes or so I've let it cool for about five minutes and after that uh, I strain out the water but before that I add in about two spoons of oil no need to oil uh, to add oil before that it doesn't really make sense and oil after it so it doesn't stick this is the one can of baked beans which I have and since we are vegetarian we use a vegetarian version and then we have green capsicums these are the green capsicums which I have prepared and I've cut into rings and then I have just done half the preparation of the boiled tomatoes I've not really boiled it but I've blanched them so how do I blanch my tomatoes I take a pot of boiling water I put in my tomatoes let it cook for about maybe two or three minutes and then I cover it and leave it on to know that it's well done uh, you can see it it will crack on the top all of them will have a little crack so it's not exactly boiled but it's blanched and this gives a very different or a very nice taste it brings out the flavor of the tomatoes then we have half a cup of tomato ketchup for over here chili powder salt and oil so what we are going to do is have this tomato and I'm going to take peel off the skin but please be careful the tomatoes are hot so we I'm going to peel off the tomato cut it in half because I know it's really hot hot you can let it cool a bit but then you have to remember to take it off don't leave it in the hot boiling water because then it will keep getting cooked and keep getting cooked which you don't want that and after I have peeled the tomatoes I have de-skinned them I'm going to chop them don't make them very big but do it nicely and in this using nice bright red firm tomatoes really help because then the color of the whole item or the whole dish shows up inside it So in this way we are going to do all the four tomatoes and keep it ready and then I'm going to add the oil in the pot add the capsicum and fry it covered for about two to three minutes it should be very well cooked cooked but just al dente because then we are going to bake it let the oil become a bit warm and I'm going to put in my capsicums or the bell pepper that's the other word which we also use for capsicum bell pepper 
see you can have the lovely aroma the fragrance of the capsicum so even when we choose our capsicums choose nice green firm capsicums don't use those limp capsicums or you know old ones let us just cover it and cook it for some time so the flavor is also intact and it's cooked now this dish as you if you go through the whole recipe it says uh, the last one bake in a hot oven but sometimes if you've got a huge party and you really don't manage to bake it it's absolutely okay you don't have to bake it but just serve it in a bowl where you can make it hot even if it's in the microwave unless you've just made it and you're going to put it in the pot and then serve it directly once it's done the chopped uh, tomatoes will be like this only reason you are taking off the skin because you've blanched them but if they were raw tomatoes you can do it with the skin not a problem blanched is better because it brings out the flavor and it also gives you that aroma the special it's it's a different taste also altogether okay now my capsicums are almost done and not to forget to take out a few rings for decoration So we'll take out a few rings and a few long pieces. And then I'm going to add in my tomatoes. And I'm going to put in my chili powder. If you enjoy it a bit spicy, you can put a bit more. But if you don't, just put little. But if you want a special flavor or taste coming out, you can just grind or pound some fresh uh, ground chilies into dry powder and then use that. But otherwise, the regular chili powder is good enough. and this is going to be mixed well which is a rich color is because we blanched the tomatoes if it's raw tomatoes it won't be like that do you have the tomato fragrance also that's because of that so let it just get cooked by itself and then add the chili powder and tomatoes and let's cook it for some time for 5 minutes Only thing to cook it now is for the chili powder to infuse itself into the tomatoes and into the capsicums or bell peppers. Just leave it closed. and then after that we are going to add in the macaroni or the pasta the shell pasta whatever we call it beans and the tomato ketchup and salt to taste right you seen this works well i'm going to put in my shell pasta it's drained and you can see nothing is sticking to each other the reason to use shell pasta it looks good it looks different from the other regular spaghetti or the linguini and all that and also when you see the shell you see it has a hollow inside so the juice will stick inside some salt to taste we don't eat very salty things if you see any shells which are stuck into each other just take it off but even if you don't take the trouble to take it off they'll come off easily once they get into the liquid You see because of the liquid we have over here which has come out from the tomatoes and a little sauce from the baked beans the spaghetti or the pasta which was al dente will now get cooked just correct way so that is one of the reasons i don't cook it perfect from the beginning let it just marinate over here for some time so it's done now i'll get a baking dish huh we'll grease this so that we know even if there's more liquid it's not going to stick anywhere suppose if you think you wanted more gravy or you want more sauce some people i know even i don't like my pasta very dry you can add in this water tomato. this is a tomato water hmm 
So let's add it. So we don't put anything to waste. see we have used no color, no preservatives, no artificial things so the dish is healthy by itself. Yeah it's already simmering nice and hot and let's taste it for the salt and the chili. I think the chili should be okay because we don't want this very spicy and you know very overpowering. But the salt has to be there for us to have a good uh, this thing. So we'll just put in a bit of salt. Right? So it's cooked. Each pasta is different and when we have it we can see the taste in it also. I've breathed the baking dish over here. I'm going to pour the mixture into this. Let us not overfill this plate. We'll do this in another round. And we have to, last but not the least, forget the decoration. This is the piece and I'm going to take it in to have it baked for about 15 minutes in the hot oven. Then I'll show you again how it looks like. And here is our dish. The Shell macaroni with bell peppers baked and here it is ready for us. And this is how it will look after it is done. Thank you for your company for today's vegetarianism, the noble way of living. Join us again tomorrow with Amy's Veggie Hut to learn how to prepare rainbow salad and saffron rice, two side dishes to complement the tomato macaroni shells with bell peppers. Up next is between master and disciples on Supreme Master Television. Happy Veg Cooking! For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG.